citations, and offers to contract when a police officer issues you a citation, he is actually requesting you to contract with him. He is alleging that you violated a corporate regulation in writing, which you have accepted by signing and thus requires you to respond. The police officer is instructed to explain that your signature is merely an acknowledgement that you received a copy of the citation, but in actuality, your signature is notification to the court and judge that you have accepted or consented to this offer to contract, which also grants the judge consent, personam and subject matter jurisdiction over you and the case. You can cancel that contract however by rescinding your consent. The Federal Truth in Lending Act provides that any party to a contract may rescind his consent within three business days of entering into such a contract. So across the face of the citation you should print or type in large print, the following words, I do not accept this offer to contract and I do not consent to these proceedings. Use blue ink or purple ink. Admiralty is the court and royalty represents your sovereignty. Either way is appropriate. Sign your signature underneath in blue or purple ink and in front of a notary and under your signature type, without prejudice, UCC 1 to 308. This is another way to declare that you may not be held responsible for this contract pursuant to the Uniform Commercial Code. Serve cancelled citation back it on the clerk court, along with a certificate of service, by certified mail, return receipt requested. This kills the citation, removes your consent and removes the jurisdiction of the court, all at the same time. It really is that simple. Note, a certificate of service is a letter that first identifies the citation and then defines how and when you return the document to the court and is signed. If not denied, it becomes a truth in commerce by tacit procuration. Remember to keep a copy of everything, in case the clerk attempts to trash your response, which certainly will not happen with a certificate of service or if it is mailed back by the notary. The notary is actually a deputy secretary of state and is more powerful than the court clerk. Public notaries originate from the time of the Egyptian and Roman scribes who were the purveyors of certified documents, which are sworn affidavits. Certified documents and sworn affidavits are truth in commerce. Birth certificates are certified documents on bonded paper. The word bonded is derived from bondage as in slavery, which makes all of us bond slaves to whoever retains custody of our original birth certificates. I bet you believed that the Emancipation Proclamation freed the slaves, and it did for a short time and then the birth certificate and the 14th Amendment enslaved us all. Check out our packet in our email in the description our goal is to assist and support you and your loved ones in any way we can. For more than three decades, we've been collecting valuable resources that can help you overcome any obstacles you may encounter. We're excited to provide you with access to the most up-to-date technology and research that have successfully helped numerous individuals in the past. We're confident that they can do the same for you. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or concerns. We highly recommend reviewing our information packet, which contains cutting-edge and proven knowledge. We believe that access to this information is important for everyone, and we encourage you to share it with your friends and family. Please like share and subscribe.